How you can create file line by line in Bash script will be shown in this tutorial. So first of all, a text file uh, will be linked to this particular example. So I will create the text file first. So I will create the text file here. And the file name will be company.txt. Okay, now uh, go for the first example reading file content from common line. To read this file, uh, which contains five lines, uh, you can uh, just run this while loop from the terminal without uh, creating an escape file. So just uh, type the comma. What read line do echo dollar line and the ending of the loop and this symbol indicates that uh, taking input from the file or reading the file company.txt and uh, the while loop would read each line and it will be printed it will print the uh, it will print each line in each iteration. There is a uh, mistake that is our file name is in capital letter and uh, of course bash is case sensitive. So now you will get the output uh, Samsung, Nokia, LG, Company and iPhone. So now go for the next example reading file continue using a script. Uh, in the previous example, we ran the command from the terminal directly. Now I will create this script. And uh, here also you have to type the company name capital, C capital, and uh, file name store the store the file name variable will store an existing file name, and uh, n is initialized to one. And while loop will read each line of the file, and uh, here dollar n is used to uh, provide the line number also with the file counter. And here on the value of n is implemented by one, and uh, uh, in the similar way, uh, here less than a file name which file you want to read. Now save it. File one dot bash. Okay, now I'm done the screen from here. Bash file one dot bash. Now you can, uh, can see the output. This is the file output, and this is added in each line by now one, two, three, four files. In example three, passing file name from the common line and reading the file. Uh, in my another tutorial, uh, it is shown how you can read from the online and how you can read the file name from the online also. So that will be applied in this tutorial, in this example. So, uh, first argument will be an existing file name, which will be stored here. And uh, while we will read each file like before. So I will save the file as file2.bash. And now I can run the script here bash file2.bash. And you can provide the file, any file name that exists in your current location. I'm using the same file here. So it is showing the output like this. And next, reading the file by omitting the backslash skip. <coughs> and to do this, and you have to uh, use hyphen R option. 
to remove the backslash space. So, uh, uh, this is the space here. And here is file 3 dot dash. So, from the previous example, there is another hyphen R option is used. So, hyphen R option is used to omit the black search scale. So, now if I save the file already, I'm sorry, may I have the file name, you have to change the file name. Uh, the file name was company, company 2 does not exist in the system now. So, save the file. And if I run that space, then it is showing the same output like before. And uh, in this way, uh, you can uh, read any file, any type of file in bash space. Okay, thank you for watching.